Okay, there we go. Hi, everybody. Uh, we're gonna play the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog because people told me it was a potential game of the year contender. My knowledge of this game is that it was released as an April Fool's joke, is that right? Um, but at that apparently it is also pretty good. But here's the thing is I don't, I just, I don't know anything about Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, basically. Um, but I love point-and-click visual novels, so I'm into that. Um, but I was hoping that you, chat, since I know some of you are Sonic fans, uh, I see Penny, who I know is a Sonic fan, uh, could give me context that I'm gonna be missing on whatever this is. Um, we released as freeware to coincide with April Fool's Day. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess... Let's just dig into it. It does not need deep lore. Maybe I want the deep lore, though. Phew! Made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. See, I don't know if this is this, this creature's voice. So far, so good. My first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. Is this me? I'll just sign my name here. That's my name. Jenna! Did I spell that right? It actually only has one exclamation point, but that's fine. Oh, passengers can read my scribble. This is what I sound like when I'm not streaming. Yeah, that dapper little child is me, obviously. Dip dapper. Uh-oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Jenna, shake it off. Oh. Je Jenna, did I just see you uh, hitting yourself? M -m 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 Mr. Conductor, sir, H how are you doing this morning? Ho oh, ho, oh, quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Is that because you're a sweetie? Trying to butter me up the first day, are we? Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Fa <laughs> ha I can see why his wife's excited. Because <laughs> he stinks. Smells like a wet dog. Enough of my quibbles. Oh, menu added to your inventory. You can, oh, I can open the menu anytime to review items. Okay. Uh, it's the menu. Chili dogs, ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Classic train foods. Is somebody going to poison the chili dog? Is that how Sonic dies? Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve on the dining car? Uh, ch ch chicken cordon bleu. Ding, 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 ding. Glad you read the menu okay. <laughs> a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can't really handle can really handle anything you throw at it. I've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 30 TUs, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Oh, is Sonic not really gonna die? Whatever. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the train dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are taken care of, understand? Now, I can't afford to lose this job. It's how I get health care. You sure can't. The severance pay is lousy. <laughs> the doors to the Mirage Express are all opening. All aboard! Well, this is delightful. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. All right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. 
This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, rogue. Did I ju not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pin, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pin? What a cast- what cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Jenna. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. God, what the fuck does Sonic sound like? Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Uh, uh, oh, of course, sir. Ah, are you a pirate? Oh, no. I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Please arrange for a game where you are the sole VA. I mean, that's every fucking visual novel I try to play on this stream. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Jenna, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Uh, okay, got it. Oh no, look at all these. I guess let's talk to Sonic. He's the most famous. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. I already did. I already did a full dub of the Frog Detective series. It was exhausting. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just like help it. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes, have fun now. Will do. Thanks. Could I please... Uh, could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Why, <laughs> certainly. Is that Amy? Is that how Amy sounds? Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good time? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. For a move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun, thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door on the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely, thank you. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. It's, it's, he's just doing his job. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 out of my pocket. $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. <laughs> oh, that was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I might not actually be the best at judging character. That's bad news for a murder mystery. Here. Thank you. Everything's in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Um, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That stare. Whoa, so cold. Jenna, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? <laughs> no, I'm good. Mm. Can I get your ticket, Eongin? <laughs> right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way! I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too! It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far! We're sparkle gelatin buddies! Ha 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 Absolutely! If you need anything, just let us know. What is happening? Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Uh, well, yeah, I, I don't know who's gonna get the Benoit Blanc voice until I know who the detective is. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? 
Is this guy supposed to be Australian? I don't know why I have that vibe. Is it the hat? I think that's a ticket. Oh, is this Knuckles? Oh, this must be Knuckles. Look at his fist. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. That's Idris Elba. I don't know why he... No, the hat doesn't read as cowboy to me. It reads Australian. Echidnas are Australian. Well, that's probably why. Everything looks great. Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> okay, thank God I didn't have to try to do a voice for that one. May I have your ticket, pl Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. P -p -p princess Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, where are you visiting from? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I pref quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, 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 you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please, get up. Why can I not win with this group? Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Espio, what is S? What is Espio? Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. Social anxiety champion? Or social anxiety chameleon? <laughs> you consider me calming? <gasps> He's looking right at me. I studied ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. W wow, ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling to walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Is that everyone? No. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Uh, could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around and see if it turns up. D that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Okay, is that... Isn't that everyone? Oh, the hand? Mmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Jenna, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Jenna only gets one of those if they ask. Aww. Arm did it. I think Arm is the murderer. Did Arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Ha ha ha! Good try, young buck. The train and I have been working together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat! Those snacks look really tasty. Uh, oh. Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Okay. I talked to everyone, right? Oh, let's go ahead and save. Don't want to lose this important progress. Uh, please excuse me, darling. I just need to freshen up before the party begins. Um, your order, ma'am? Oh, this all looks delectable, but sadly, we'll have to pass. If you get hungry later, we'll have the microwave warm up for you. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't tell the customers that? What a beautiful train! I'm completely at ease! The menu, sir? I don't like reading things from strangers. What? <laughs> Fair enough. Shoot, I was supposed to get Amy a cake. What am I gonna do? Can I get your order? I'll be back for that chili dog. For a hero such as yourself, it'll be on the house. I appreciate that. My, I kind of forgot my wallet at home. Then how was he gonna buy the chili dog earlier? I wonder what kind of cake topper Sonic picked out for me. Uh, can I take your order? No thanks, I'm saving room for my birthday cake. Oh, did someone bring cake for you? 
Yes, that was Sonic's job. What? Funny, Sonic looks uh, awfully nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> Sonic, why did you turn to look at the wall? Sonic? What else do you need? Can I take your order? Only three items on the menu. Sorry, sir, is not everything to your liking. I just expected a bit more of a train so state-of-the-art. You don't even have drinks listed. He's not wrong, but I'm still offended somehow. We can offer water, coffee, and chaos cola as well, sir. I'll have to take you up on that coffee soon. Just the beans and a spoon, though. Oh, I can't get a read on this guy. You do not need to bow every time you see me. Oh, sorry. Can I take your order? I'm saving myself for cake. Thank you, though. Are you sure? Our instant ramen doesn't disappoint. I'm quite sure. Oh, I can adjust slightly to the left to see more of Knuckles. But maybe we should leave this dude alone. Uh, when is somebody gonna kill Sonic? This trait is exquisite. I'm enjoying my time already. Can I take your order? I'll order one of each, but I'm here for the party. I'll eat when everyone else does. What excellent principles! Plus, I had a snack right before this. Oh. I have the power to kill Sonic right here? I don't think I should. Okay. Find anything yet? Oh, I see. I'm supposed to be looking for the ticket. Nope, nope. Is there? Ah, I see. What? What's that sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, wasn't somebody looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to the rightful owner. And make sure no one uses this ticket as a napkin. Find anything yet? Well, we might just have what you need. Jenna, why don't you show our friend here what you picked up? Bop. Bop. There it is, that's my ticket. Thank you so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, oh, old oh, Jenna here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> Who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both all right in my book. Thanks for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare for the driver's compartment for my departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems pretty capable on their own. And train. Assist Jenna if they need any help, won't you? Ha ha ha, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everybody. Have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mugging the place up either. This is train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all of that. NBA Dex, thank you for the Prime Gaming subscribe. For everything else, please talk to Jenna here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivation. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest are suspects. Everyone is assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you're a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the con conductor car. Well, naturally, that's where the captain would go. 
Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. R Rouge? Rogue? I never know how to say this word. I always get tripped up on this word. Mugen Rafai, thank you for the resubscribe. Uh, Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Ha! <laughs> huh, sounds fun. Vector. Vector, you're the butcher. And Espio, the, you're the poet. Both in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something? Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Mm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you all get that? Yep. Ah, I was listening in. I hope that's okay. More than all right, you can help ensure everyone, everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Okay. The rules of the games are followers. follows. There's a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must be physically be present for the victim with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. Kitty Horrible, thank you for the Prime Sweet Gaming subscribe. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations! Ah, this is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Bye, Mechtel. Um, should we do a prediction? Uh, there's a lot. Well, let's see. Okay, let's... Once the first person has died, I think we should do a prediction to figure out who the killer is. So, we'll do that when we get there. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scooping the, scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Oh god, is Tails the detective? Is Tails gonna have to have the Benoit Blanc voice? Uh-oh. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. Where do you think everyone's going? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has the roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory was that I had a best friend with a flicky. I was best friends with a flicky. Is this a flicky? What the fuck is a flicky? That decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna got lie, that kinda sounds fun. I wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. The train started moving! It, it's so fast! Grab onto something! What's going on? I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! Ah, no! Gotta go fast. <laughs> I mean, we did send Sonic to the conductor's car, so... You're both awake! Y yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Uh, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems as though we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. Rikering, thank you for the, the 10 bits. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this interview. 
and we should go check out the other car, the others. Jenna, could you get the door? Uh, of course. Huh, it seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. That feels like a, th a lore thing that I don't know about. Let's find another way out. I'll, I'll start looking for clues. I'll search over here. Whoa. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Uh huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. She wake. She did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know that I'm the tech detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, and then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna do it, Conductor. I'm gonna be the best star and sidekick. You can count on me, Tails. Comic Sans Syrup, thank you for the resubscribe. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. The shelf blocking our exit, it's currently not bl budging. Hey Jenna, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. Maybe with some sort of giant hammer? There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. This train has too much upkeep. It feels like this is important. We should log it. Ah, the wet floor sign, keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at a grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. When he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook all any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Ha <laughs> ha. I only, I've only had microwave lunches this week. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, it's a very clean trash bin. <laughs> So I guess we're supposed to interrogate Amy about this clearly busted shelf. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out? On a train? I'll keep looking. Oh, okay, that's just the same thing. Hmm, I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Okay, all right. I don't think I can look left or right. Am I missing something? So, oh, there's a bat, okay. What's this, a rod? Looks like a, maybe the broken bottom of a, ha a hammer? I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Okay. What's the latest? Listen here, sister. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't gonna be easy, is it? I've been, I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I. What could she have done in that time? <laughs> Murdered a suspect? There was no one here other than you and Tails. And are either of you murdered? Plus, t Amy and I are in roles that can't be murderers. Hmm. She could have attempted an escape. I don't think you were sitting, uh, sitting idly while Jenna and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence? Yeah, we do. 
first find the correct piece of evidence. Yep. All right. Attempted to escape the dining car closet. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof, okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. Uh, train of thought? How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? Well, you see, when I'm stuffed, I like to think, what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always looking forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Yeah, sure, kid, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? And find your argument. Okay. Follow the train of thought and make a comeback. What? 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 Is, <laughs> is this how I'm thinking thoughts? Is this how I'm figuring out? Okay, this is fucking wild. What a weird way of doing that. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around it for it to fall into. Perpetual Tanda, thank you for the resubscribe. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Da -na -na -na. What is that? A stick? You truly believe that a stick could do this kind of damage? What I like about this is that um, there's no voice work for me to do during these segments. Ow! I lined up a bad job. Okay. <laughs> You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage on its own, but if it was attached to something, say, like, a hammer? Ah, this isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, it's as you both said, I tried to get us out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces. Just, just gonna squeeze and put the... Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. What the fuck? We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. We did it. We solved the mystery. Wait, is that? It, it can't be. Sonic! Somebody murdered my darling Sonic! <laughs> it looks like the game's begun! I'm finding out who did this at once! Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did this too! Wait for me! What a whirlwind! I'm exhausted already! This is really convincing, Sonic! Sonic? <laughs> Body... No. Can't move. What, what are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I can't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world's going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic? Oh no, I can feel myself panicking. Come down, Jenna. What do I do? Oh no. I 
I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. So is Sonic dead or... <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Alright, we're in the saloon. I love that. Look at how immaculately destroyed this area is. I just, it's just that I don't trust that Sonic's actually dead. That was too ambiguous. Wow, look at this place. Amy, Amy, are you here? Um, you think he ate too much food? He ate all of the, the chili dogs? It's really funny. I've looked around, I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone ahead. She seems really excited. Uh, just a question, really. What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're all just really committed to this mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. You're making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. I I'm d d d dying. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I gotta, I gotta look around. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind. Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ha ha ha. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, oh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. That is true. You varmints. What are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us where we were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Jenna, we need to figure out what Knuckles, Knuckles was up to while we're all apart. Let's investigate for clues, and then interrogate. All right, let's do it. Clearly, we won't be able to give up a game, a game of Super Monkey Ball a try. Disappointing. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damage looks more like it was caused from punches? Who, who could have done that? What are you two looking at me for? Huh. Uh. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Omo Chow. I hate to see them like this. That's a Sonic thing, right? Hi, Isoplod. What'd they do? Medical malpractice. <laughs> Something's always hidden in the trash, and this time it'll definitely. Oh, it's empty too. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. Sonic Tamagotchi? Okay. Okay. They're the tutorial guy. Okay. Ooh. Snacks. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Kind of bland. Yeah, it seems like someone licked all the salt off them. What? Whoa. <laughs> Or maybe they're just unsalted. Whoa. Whoa. Jenna, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Um, Knuckles was really thirsty. Jenna, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' colors at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles. But I wanted cake. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. 
What interesting tech. Oh no, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? You love this game? You've seen it played three plus times. Wow. Okay. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Huh. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. He's got bad friends. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said, leave. actually gonna fight me, right? Knuckles, Jenna. Oh, <laughs> Knuckles, Jenna and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It, it is? We have evidence, too. We do? Jenna, just take a look, good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The game? The arcade machine? Ah, what makes you think I touched it? It's broken in half with a fist? Level got, it got more complicated, which I was not expecting, but which I'm happy about. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because it's, you know, it's covered in punches. <laughs> what evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag. None were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How, how will you? I'm on it. Jenna, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. What? Fuck! That was hard! Try again, okay. Oh, fuck! I didn't expect- this is not- I was not anticipating this as an element of gameplay, but I'm pretty delighted. Fuck, I just have to do good. <laughs> Alright, I'm focusing. God. Game hard somehow. The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Hmm. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. Vector was here. He's supposed to be in the library card. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score, and Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove it to me he was here now. Well, there are three cups, and I assume Rouge was the other one? Hmm? 
Now, Jenna, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? No! I thought it was strange that there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector were enjoying some drinks and playing arcade! It's, um, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, and don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track. As you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. He went back and forth playing to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. <laughs> well, that explains one of the used cups, but what about the one with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. Even though that's also not her shade. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Huh, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector plate, yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. That's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Jenna, can you take a look one more time? Uh... Probably Ultim? All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know it, Jenna, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. Excuse me? Th there's really someone here that goes by that? I'm glad I'm playing this character. Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then shadows drop by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the uh, scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. And you all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Ooh. Showed me to lock the door and not to open for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she had some kind of key too. That's right, she's got the birthday key. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors and what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, kid. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. Hmm. All right. The library is in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Okay. To the library. <laughs> Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it, partner. This stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. I like that. Hey, it's Amy! I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Mo, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Oh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. <laughs> this tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? Da-da-da-da! The birthday girl has a master key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm a detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, um... Here to ask if anyone's hungry? Starved! I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right now. 
Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now? I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. <laughs> I'm Esvio, the poet. Ah, poetry! A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perceptions of the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Uh, sure. Uh, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la, dee 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 dee. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm, I'm satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Jenna and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. We were all set off. Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, Sonic all passed through the library car. Which is where we're at right now. Where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was where was Ro Rouge? It's gonna get me every time. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the salon car. Rouge came here to the library car, seemingly looking for someone. Then she went and searched the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way, at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. And then she went to the casino car. Then the library card and locked the door behind him. Why has Shadow been locking doors? What does Shadow know? Shadow walked through the library card to the salon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. Uh, well, if anyone played a, ru a rogue, it would be Rouge, so you're actually not wrong. <laughs> I appreciate that. He insisted on showing us up at the Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey ca action, I hardly noticed when Sh Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library card to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then he returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, he realized Knuckles locked the dar door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library card. This is a lot. It's a lot, but it also feels like nothing. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got caught up through it all right. All right. With all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library card or the saloon car. Okay. Okay. Their alibi's solid enough, but we should search for clues to prove what they're saying is true. Okay. <laughs> I love this. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow. I really needed to see this. What? This little chow is hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly safely. Because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there is that much thought put into this poster. Huh, <laughs> hello, potato. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. We've got a train hand for that. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out, searching for something. A bit reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're open too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. What a nerd. The trash can! There's gotta be something in there. What? Really thought there'd be- I thought, come on. Yeah, I'm sad there's nothing in the trash bin. I keep saying there's gonna be something in the trash bin, and there keeps not being something. Yeah, I just gotta stay optimistic. Jenna, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. That's supposed to be a compliment? A globe of our marvelous planet. Ugh, oh, this dweeb. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Ugh, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you've ever visited, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. This group knows everyone. Oh my god. 
Po, poor thing. That arm is really struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Ooh, brochures! These are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Jenna, look at this! There's a couple maps here. They seem to be map of the library card. Books are organized, categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it! Okay. Should we take this brochure about a cave, too? Look, there's stalactites! Nah, leave it. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, it's boring. I do have a fondness for caves. It's true, game. Game, you know me so well. I love a good cave. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked his door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason for this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Okay. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. I actually tried- you actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authority, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a kitchen-stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we definitely would have think you were the murderer. Huh. <laughs> but what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. <laughs> I may be a butcher- oh, we already did that, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think we've- figured everything out yet. Oh. Ha! Ah! Gone gal? What the fuck? What a thing for this this Sonic game to reference. Instead of gone girl? Ah, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, as personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Jenna, no! Don't fall asleep! There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time... What? What? Where are you napping? Maybe it's a clue? What's that bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Mr. Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird that it's even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. Fancy a poem? I want a poem about trains! Locomotive in motion, I think I lost my lotion. The o window shows the ocean, oh wait, there's my lotion. Ah, uh, thanks. I actually really like that one. What? Okay. I saw the movie, it, it's fucking intense. I haven't read the book. I feel like maybe I should. The, the movie was really interesting from a horror perspective because it was like... It was like, what if all the horrible things that men said about women being crazy in relationships were true and manifested? I feel like the, the pro... I guess the antagonist of... The eponymous Gone Girl is like such an iconic... Um... Horror monster? <laughs> If that makes sense, but like for for a, for a patriarchal society, she's I think she's like an iconic figure. Okay, what what am I missing? So it's not there. Rosamund Pike, fucking incredible! What an incredible actress! And yeah, I know exact I know exactly the scene you're talking about. Uh, I really I should read that book. I don't know what I'm not, what I haven't clicked on. Oh, I see. There, I f keep forgetting I can pan slightly. Oh, no, Kaylee. I, yeah, probably, maybe. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. 
Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. It's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That old saying. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order. But this one. The Mirage Express Manual. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So somebody picked up the manual. Ah, so the two... Uh, so you two don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Jenna and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was in the reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if needed. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd check it out. Alright. And that brings our attention to you, SVO. Rouge entered the library card, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Uh, of course I was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop until he's done. It's I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of thing do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch of what book that might be. Yeah. I mean, it's the only book we picked up. Sharp Objects is another one where I didn't read it, but I did watch the miniseries. And boy, boy howdy. That had a lot going on. A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you have possibly have to support this? The miniseries was nuts. Uh, but it was exciting to me that it took place in Missouri. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I see it. The jumps are the jumps are a trap. What the fuck was that? Oh fuck. I whipped it. I'm thinking too much about the jumps. <laughs> I'm thinking, sorry, I'm thinking not, en I'm thinking too much about the rings and not enough about the jumps. Okay. books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves are all in alphabetical order, except this manual. The lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey, now, I won't you have, a, have you insulted my pal like- Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. Well, in that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Okay. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Um, I guess 14? Um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in tr keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and mess afterwards. Oh, yeah, the train can clean itself. Although I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. Oh, the robots are taking our jobs. 
The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced the question, Jenna, and hit him with another one. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? What is happening in this game right now? Are we uh, quizzing somebody about the fictitious rules of a fictitious train? What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? Yeah. It's wild you were able to obtain all this information so quickly. The poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. <laughs> you clearly read the manual. The answers are far too specific to be guesses. You both had the nerve to question my buddy like that? Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? I have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Oh, not Rouge or Shadow? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Jenna? Uh, he always puts me on the fucking spot. We should have a piece of evidence linking to somebody who also saw Espio reading, but what is it? Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell, what this has to do with anything? We're up, Jenna, let's get our arguments together. Okay. walked through the library card to get to the saloon car, where he had set the original high score. Yeah, but we ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score for long. Crocs are natural gamers. <laughs> okay. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library card, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentioned that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading the book for a good while at that point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library card when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I just uh, fully immersed in my book. I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, you see... Uh... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all these doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. That's a mystery, my dear Jenna, one that I would love Espio to solve. You've got to be kidding me. That cool demeanor, demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Nespio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library card? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's on something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading? Or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library card? What should I do? Hmm. I mean, there's a chance he just didn't notice. But I... Uh... I guess I'm gonna join Tails. No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's onto something. I'll let him continue the line of questioning and... Oh, yes. Yes, Conductor? 
protect the passengers, they must be taken care of. If you fail, the law sorts will be torturous. Don't allow such an old feeble so to get sold to get sued. Okay. Tails, we have a piece of evidence that can answer all our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. Is it the map? Or, ooh, is it the library? So maybe they just didn't see one another? The, the fact that this train is so twisty is perplexing. No, I'll, I'll do the brochure. You want a sue command for Nightbot? Nightbot needs a sue command for what? <laughs> to do to do what? got me cursing on main. Okay. To do lawsuits? Hmm. Nightbot law degree? I mean, Nightbot would definitely go to night school. Night school, night school, Nightbot law degree. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, the, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. It looks like you'll have to point out exactly on the map where you mean. So this is a rug. This is the brochure rack. I guess here? But I mean, you would have seen him there. You would have seen him there. I can't tell if this is hard or easy. You think it's a table in the nook? I guess I assume the... Which direction are the table are these facing? This is a question. I assume the brown parts are the back of it. Yeah. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms that then you see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot because a bookcase is in the way. That makes a lot of sense. Why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. Apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping, despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you for both for answering all our questions. We did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. All right. That's our cue to leave. To the next. If you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'm good, thank you. A murderer is on the loose while doors get keep getting locked. Tick tock. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. Okay. All right. Universe, thank you for the resubscribe. Aw, oh, I'm sorry, Tails. The mystery calls. All right, I'm going to go and get more water because my throat needs more water. So I'll be right back.
All right. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Okay. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, my darling? Hey, oven baked brat. Interesting that this is a game. Yeah. <laughs> and I see you've brought the microwave master with you. Ah, please, don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge, we're going to need the help. Blaze? All right. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. T -t 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 treasure Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right, well... It's a Fabergé chow egg! Wow, that really does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. <laughs> a woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me into the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé chow egg is here in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure's real and it's, it's really here? What did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? Oh, three, two, three, oh, four, oh, one. I found the train's blueprint in the library card with a safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let me see that. Uh, 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 finder's keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us straight to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without, without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issue here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Oh, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Jenna, do you have an opinion on this? It's time for a five-finger discount. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Jenna are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. Ha, that's the ticket. Oh, I'm happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh, God. Access to the Fabergé chow egg is behind an locked elevator door. The security card has the access card. Do we? Distract the guard. Distract them perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That's a really nice thing to say. Jenna, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs to work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Um, Blaze? Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G great Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Mm. Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Who puts a claw machine in a casino? That'll work great as a distraction. Let's continue. With the guard distracted, how will you get the access card? Grab them and fly them up the wrappers. Ask for the card. Pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow is in, in uniform, won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Jenna, what's your plan? Um, say there's a drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it to the elevator. Inside, we... Um... Pop some apple cider? Now that's the proper victory. 
Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Whoa. High five each of them. Have tails disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. I love this. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Cry and hope they sympathize. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready, let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. What a funny way of doing that heist. <laughs> that was great. I knew that plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our plan beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter, now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on the blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> I shouldn't have been, it's all, okay. I got distracted, I wanna see if there was other stuff, okay. No question, this has to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart, let's see. 230401, oh wow! It's here, I have it! All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that all there is is... That's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, split it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, but anyone who's opened one of them has never lived to tell the tale. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a great point, Detective Hoops. You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Tick, tick, tick. Dynamite? What dynamite? Uh-oh. Because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge. Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do we put this thing? It's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Some days it's so hard to get rid of it. Rid of a bomb. Um, God, there's so many options. Uh... Can I, can I save scum in the Sonic April Fool's murder uh, mystery? <laughs> kiss the egg? We think You think we should kiss the egg? Not eat the egg? You think we should kiss it? Or rock it to sleep? Uh, it's the whole franchise? I like that. All right, yeah, no, let's let her kiss the egg. As they say, love always prevails. Wow, okay, so Rouge is gay, huh? Love wins. I still hear the ticking. Huh, what a prude. Okay, we'll eat the egg. Not without any salt, I won't. Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Oh my god, what? Rock the egg to sleep. Do you think the egg is cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. I'm gonna throw my body on it. Here, give it to me. Just get as far away from me as possible. Just remember as I am, a hero. No, Jenna, we won't let you do that. I mean, if that's what they want to read it. Stop, the microwave kid's obviously not going to sacrifice himself. His body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. True, let's think about something else quickly. Tell the egg to stop. Stop. That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Um. Twist the egg again. Great idea. Stop, stop. That's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Chaos control the egg away. 
Where did you hear about Chaos Control? Doesn't matter, we need a Chaos Emerald to be able to do that. Well, dang it. Uh, Tails, use your tails. Worth a try. It wasn't, it was a terrible idea. I still feel here ticking, however refreshing the breeze may be. Uh, open it up and see if there's wires to cut. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one, like the movies. This isn't a movie, this is real life. Um, <laughs> stomp on it? Just how I like my eggs. Smushed. What? Obviously not. Flip it upside down. I'm trying to do all the ones that I don't think will do it. Nothing happened. Are you happy? Uh, set it on fire, Blaze. Perhaps fire and explosives shouldn't mix. You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just li like to say things, don't you, Jenna? It's true. Smash it. Rouge. Uh, we should probably think of a different plan. Okay. Uh, I'm always out here saying things. It's true. I have quite the legacy. I have quite the eggacy. Okay. Um, throw it and lock it in the safe. Put it back in the safe. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open. Oh, no. We don't have time. Think of something else. Okay. Toss it in the elevator or let it finish ticking? I guess let's toss it in the elevator. Okay. You just want us to blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb. What if the egg isn't a bomb? What if it's an egg timer? Did I do it? Did I do it? Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Sorry, it's just, oh. What effective and accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. Oh, right. It's, I can also detect weapons or explosives. <laughs> That's right. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as a Fabergé chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and goings of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. We're out of options. I think we should wait and see what happens. Hey, get open! It's hollow, not a bomb at all! You both were really on to something! Whew! I my, that's one crazy way to get the heart racing! I'm completely relieved! My hunch was right, thankfully! Eee, and look what's inside! Oh my god! It's uncut gems! <laughs> Chad, it's uncut gems! <laughs> Wow, look at that sparkle! And it's so heavy, too! The final secret to the Fabergé chow egg is a chow covered in gems! It's perfect! It's exquisite! It's revolutionary! Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Oh, I must admit, it is stunning. I can't believe this game has an uncut gem reference. It's a fucking insane. You said no one lived to tell the tale of the Fabergé chow egg secret. I wonder why the egg wasn't a bomb. Perhaps they aren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Maybe they died of old age and just kept the secret with them? All right. That's fucking weird. So weird. All right, so now we can do the actual. Okay. She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could have a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. 
can't just add sweetheart to the end of the sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. It's true. Well, we'll get out of your way now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Okay. Uh, we have just as many sh Yeah. Shadow also very suspicious. Okay. That was such a... That was a very fun, weird <laughs> side divergence. That's Dr. Eggman's Lego. I suppose he does deal with a lot of casinos. He's an evil scientist that always causes trouble for us and Sonic. Huh. Every poker chip I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it. I'm not too surprised to see this here. That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised then. Dr. Eggman's built a... A lot of casinos thrown around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Yeah, you wanna play some blackjack? I don't know how to play that. Yeah, let's show, yeah. Okay, fine. I guess I'm on the job, I shouldn't gamble. Wait, is the train playing the slots? Can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know, the conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operating much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Pinball. No cheating. Visit Twinkle Park. Alright. Yeah! Just one pull. One pull. One pull. I'm good for it. Well, I lost. Do I try again? I mean, we gotta keep trying until we win, right? One more. Just a couple more times. What do you expect to keep happening if you keep playing? I, I expect to win? I'm gonna get it this time. Well, I lost, but maybe next time I'll get it. <gasps> you know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails, I got it this time. Well, I lost. I, ha I just have to assume at some point the game is gonna stop me. Have you heard of the uh, sunk cost fallacy? The sunk cost fallacy? The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they've invested heavily in it, even if it is clear that abandonment would be more beneficial. Yeah, I've heard of it. Why do you ask? No reason. I'll be over here when you decide you're done. Do we think that was the last, the last time Tails is going to intervene? I mean, surely the slot has to give out at some point. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, thank goodness. I really thought I'd lost you there for a sec. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's go. Ready to get going? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. chow band now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets I know you won't talk but I know exactly what you're been why you've been locking those doors it's hard to get a word in as you talk over me I have my reasons I no reason is convincing enough it's inconceivable what you did hey what's going on huh I see you made it here tails but I didn't expect the iron chef as well We'll see what you say when your micro chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems that Amy already knows, so ask her. Huh. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment to catch up. Coming up, an appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Jenna, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Okay. Can you open the wardrobe, please? Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. Aww. Ah! <laughs> All this dust, you opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. <laughs> huh? 
tails. Do you see this? A pole string? Jenna? What? It's got to activate something. <gasps> what the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. Oh. Whoa, back to the library car. Interesting. Interesting. We need to add that to our inventory. Hmm. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? No, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robot arm, can you... Give me a high five. It doesn't seem to be listening to you, but I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Let's see, okay. Hey, it's the big chow band. Give us a jam. Oh, that was spiritual. I feel reawakened. Wow, good band. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on a computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. <gasps> the trash can. No. Tails, I think we should track the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Jenna, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Jenna? No. There's always something in the trash bin. All right, let's check the trash bin. <gasps> what? What's this? Ha 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 ha! Someone printed out from the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Somebody was trying to get a last minute present for Amy. That's my guess. I'll let you have this. Okay. Can I uncrumple it? No, okay. Hmm. A key ring must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting. There's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Let's take it. I think we found enough clues. Oh, but I want to look at the printer. Print. So can we print something? Sonic singing a song, Sonic rowing a boat. I guess singing a song? Huh, this printer sure is surprisingly tricky to use. The user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. Ha, ah, look. That's fun. Okay. I'll quietly set this back on the printer. Okay. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare, so cold. You know, maybe we'll get out of here actually. Jenna, we certainly will not. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train, and... And I know why. <gasps> Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. I hope everyone's ready for the scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason, and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. I hit my microphone, so sorry. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Bureau Conductor, you all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again. Sonic, I said Sonic. Uh-oh. Never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? 
because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Does the logic sound though? Was Sonic trapping s was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll pay along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conduct conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic finding the dining car? Huh, exactly. I think Jenna and I can explain the car change, however. Jenna, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Uh, hidden passage? Okay. Ah. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used that passage, stuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Jenna. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, and then thought the crime scene was being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Huh, seems Tails and I are more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow's traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library card, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, uh, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Jenna, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Yeah, I mean, I think both of these. Vector was with Knuckles. See, things are falling into place. But what about Espio? Yeah, he was reading. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadows? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Hey, Pat. Why are you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I need to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Jenna and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Uh, we got the keychain that doesn't have a lot of keys on it. Okay. Pat, did you play this game? Looks very cute. Yeah, it's uh, surprisingly good for a joke video game. <laughs> There's only one reason why two keys are on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give to Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Da -da -da. <laughs> Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? 
she's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent? Are any of these people really innocent? Think about it. I think Jenna and I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me? First, Amy, I have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Are we about to put Shadow on super blast? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Uh, yeah, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right. The conductor gave Amy a birthday key, not Shadow. Why was he locking all the doors? Um, Shadow wanted to keep us away? Not us, Jenna. I'm making a leap, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh, how dare Jenna show me evidence? Ah, uh, if Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Aha, uh -huh. we know exactly why. Rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. Hot, hot honey. Tails, don't. <gasps> this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is <gasps> my current favorite. All the members have B after their name? Yes, <laughs> isn't that cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was the paper found in the train car Shadow, uh, Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. Uh-oh. I don't know how Tails figured out things out so soon, but I see where he's headed. The printout of Hot Honey's band tickets website exists because... He was buying tickets for Amy. Are you trying to give me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow! I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? Yeah, that's exactly how that happened. I'm not fantastic, fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this after I accused you of murder! Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Uh, yeah, we ruined. We ruined that. That's fine. That's a detective's job is, I suppose, to be a total bummer. Real party spoiler. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried about my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. Concert tickets aren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of at the time you were able to actually buy concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they couldn't get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this! The birthday key! The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. <laughs> Shadow, 
Your gesture was so sweet, and after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and I'll make it up to you. You can come with me. Uh, I don't know if I... Too late! It's happening! <laughs> I can't wait! The show of a lifetime! Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Ugh. Okay. But that doesn't tell us who is murdered. That wasn't a hot tip after all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalistic reporter, down the drain! Amy, I'm curious. Who is your source for the, um, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. <gasps> but we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. Okay. All right, we're getting there. Let's see if we can complete this before I end the stream. Let's finish this. Whoa. Whoa. It's a mess in here. Should really sort out my evidence. Okay. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him, he was right left in the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Okay. A microphone? We can talk to the whole train with this. Uh, this is our beatboxing for sure. Jenna, why are you reaching for the mic? Just, um, offering some guests or um, some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Jenna. Thank you for sharing. You don't think I'll be able to finish in 15 minutes? I don't want to do a second stream of this, though. So the options are I'm going to try to finish or... Uh... We just don't finish on stream. Half an hour left tops? Hmm... Event sus? No. I'm a delight. Okay. Why wouldn't that be a problem for you? Oh, the tails, right. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. 32 years. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Wow. That's kind of an intense thing to say, Shadow. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, we get it. He loves his wife. <laughs> Why are you aggro about it? The robot arm is completely torn off. Hmm. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A, conf a conf confrontation definitely occurred in this room. Okay. I didn't realize robot arms could also drive the train. Oh, that was not Shadow's voice. But they can't access, access every function on the train like the conductor did. Did they treat you how to drive it? No, just how to work the microwave. I had to be trained on it for three days. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I can drive. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Oh, guys, thanks. You know, I'm all right. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. What's this? Someone playing darts? Not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. <gasps> hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Unless the conductor did it. I'll make a note of this. All right. Let's talk and solve once and for all. Well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone in here? Yeah, I'm ready. Please report to the conductor car at once. I think the conductor done it. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Jenna. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? 
Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I'm but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime? Haha, <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Oh. He, he's not responding to us. Sonic! Sonic! Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. There's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less! Could it really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable! Sonic's hurt! I'm gonna expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I assume the conductor is Egghead. Egg... Dr. Eggman? Egghead. Eggman? Uh, and that he blow darted Sonic, but to what end, I couldn't say. I'm gonna help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. All right. We're gonna find out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Who in this room did it? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh. I don't think any of these people did it. Um, but if we have to, I mean, it's... Uh... Espio, I don't know. You were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I didn't know such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of which you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What? The, you're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone. All right. So he was ax He was in the library card. He only had access to saloon car during the murder. That's not true. He could have gotten into the lounge car, which is next to the conductor car. Uh, we discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence that I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question, but I think Jenna and I can explain that too, right? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? He's psychic, isn't it? He's a, a ninja like him speed reads? What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it, just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. That's absurd, memorize a whole book? I know this is a talented butch bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. Is it? It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. Asshole! What a funny, horrible thing to do. If I'm right, then Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage. Then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what is, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. Well, we know Roge picked up the blueprint in the library card. Who has the evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Whatever, I already used it to score for more 
scout for more treasure. Came up cold. You can have it. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever, ever saw those blueprints? Ro Rouge had them. Well, Jenna, what's the answer? Well, Espio found them before Rouge did. Where did you find the blueprints? In the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. With Amy's guide guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Jenna and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Jenna and I have evidence on how it was done. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Cape Poop! Yeah! Oh, so close. Okay. This is hard. Okay. Oh, fuck. I would have gotten it that time. art was found here. The tiny Sonic in my head is a total cut. Hey, chat, I'm doing my best. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Uh, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm not sure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Uh, good question. I locked all the doors and SVO didn't have a key. He would have had to have taken the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Jenna and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we ha need to take a closer look at? Um, I, I actually don't know. 
Um, I don't know what it wants me for one wants for this one. Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there? The vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. My word, there's a path back here, and a track. A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms mo take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him the dining car. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize that we couldn't both fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name is getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Robo arm. Oh boy, okay. hard one, huh? The battery went out. <sighs> Maybe I should stop here. Wait, chat, chat, how long do you reckon I have till the end of this game? You're not being super helpful, so I guess I'll just end the stream here. Uh, let's go ahead and save. There's a gauntlet at the end. Uh, yeah, I might just finish this on my own time.
Uh, if you feel strongly about seeing it finished on stream, then let me know in the Discord and we can figure it out. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, just let me know in the yeah if you feel strongly about this. On the one hand, I you know I like to have full games up on the YouTube, but um, yeah, I've, I have other things I need to do today, and it, we were, we already went long because I started late. So uh, I'll see you Thursday. Maybe we'll be finishing this game just briefly before playing something else, but um, we'll figure it out. Make it a VOD exclusive. That would be funny. Um, okay. Uh, this is a good game. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.